Today we're going to show you a test drive of our Traxxas TRX4 Defender outfitted with a 79 Bronco body from Proline. On this vehicle we've done a few updates. We have SSD brass portal axles to keep the center of gravity low and we have Proline Hyrax tires with beadlock wheels from Proline as well. The body has the Defender chassis, so it's a 12.8 inch wheelbase, a little longer than the rest, usually 12.3. So we've had to modify our Proline 79 Bronco body to fit this wheelbase. So we just cut out the wheel welds, made them wider, and put in the Defender fenders. This is a great venue for crawling, but it's 2,500 feet from sea level. You have to climb the big hill so you can play on these rocks. But as you can see, the TRX4 is no problem whatsoever with the clearance of its portal axles. Over here we have a tight little chute. The great steering angle is a big advantage on these tight little crevices. The other thing is the two-speed transmission is good as well. With a 550 motor, it's got enough torque, but to modulate it, it's good to be in low gear and be able to approach all these rocks very slowly with a lot of control. Got hung up there a little bit, but as you can see, the rear portal axle is able to clear no problem. And here's gonna be a tight steer, a little three-point turn, it's able to get through that chute no problem. That pole up in the middle denotes the top of Mission Peak. It's got all these little portholes where you can see grand landmarks around the Bay Area, California. The RX4 is still not having a problem with good traction. It's really able to use its clearance through the rocks. Steering angle comes in handy as well as you can always position the vehicle. Over here, right there, almost there. You see the articulation of the suspension. Right here, the most critical moments, not a problem. body looks fairly realistic on this little road that's able to make a pass looks pretty darn good put the transmission in second gear and it's able to get some some speed not common for most crawlers so here's a good example of what it can do shift from low gear from high gear to low gear see an you know, a little rock outcropping and go right through it. Another trick up its sleeve is you can lock the front and rear diffs. So you can go from a good handling high speed vehicle, medium speed vehicle, to something that's a pure crawler. Not the best radio in the world, but it modulates pretty good. For a ready to run, it's one of the best. It's probably one of the best. Servo we upgraded to a Savox, a $60 to $70 Savox, just in the middle of the road, but this vehicle really needs it uh, because it's a eight, eight and a half pound vehicle. The stock servo really can't handle this, this in the tight situations. Steel servo, steel or aluminum servo horn is needed as well. The real key here is the Defender is a capable chassis, but the body is two and a half, is basically two pounds heavy. So it's really holding it back. And it's got awful approach and departure clearance. So over here, using this 
Bronco body with no bumpers front or rear. It's able to get the best of all worlds. It's able to scale this rock and it's able to turn, a little five point turn, make a U-turn on top of a rock. Go up and go back down. When your TRX-4 comes from the factory, the drag brake is not on and it is essential to turn it on for crawling. Right there, <laughs> you're in high gear. Goes about 11 miles an hour on three cell and it's pretty darn good for a good time. Little spots, Mount Diablo in the background over there. And for a $40 body, it's not bad. The grills, the grill is a decal, but it looks realistic. The main thing is it's light, attractive, and durable. 